Hey guys, Ronan here. Today I've got an interesting topic to discuss that has been on a lot of people's minds lately. With all the buzz around self-driving trucks in the past year or so, opinions and concerns are ramping up as drivers, owner operators, lease operators alike are foreseeing a doomed future for our industry. I'm going to tell you why I personally don't think it should be a concern and why you shouldn't either. Let's get into it. I received an email recently from a concerned subscriber and fellow trucker and it reads, why would you buy a truck now when fully automated trucks are coming out within the next five years? Really? The next five years? So if you haven't heard, yes, it's true. There are quite a few companies who are working on releasing a new twist in the trucking market. Kodiak Robotics, Embark Trucks, Daimler, Uber, Nikola, Tesla, and Aurora are just a few of the major companies who are trailblazing this new and exciting path. I've actually been asked this question a lot recently. You'd be surprised how many people are thinking the same thing. That got me thinking, what else are you wondering out there? So I put a poll together to our 90,000 subscribers, asking them, how do you think you're gonna get affected from self-driving trucks? Well, here's the results from our subscribers. 8% said, my pay rates will definitely decrease. 9% said, I think I will have a problem. 19% said, my job will not get affected. And 65% said that driverless trucks are not going to happen anytime soon. So let's get into a little more detail. Now for those of 8% that said that your pay rates will decrease, for those, I have to say that I actually think that quite the opposite is true. Why? Because as we get a little closer and closer to autonomous driving and self-driving trucks, that even if it is possible, this is discouraging a lot of people from getting into the industry. I've received about a dozen emails over the last three or four months in regards to self-driving trucks. Now, if there's a dozen people that have sent me an email, can you imagine how many people there are out there wondering the exact same thing that are not sending me emails? I mean, it's discouraging a lot of people from coming into the industry. Now, imagine if we get one step closer. Will it discourage even more people? And now everybody that's in their 60s, 65s, and there are some drivers well into their 70s that are still driving trucks. Well, those breed of drivers are slowly starting to fade away. And I see that there are more people coming out of the industry than people coming into the industry. So if you thought that your pay rates are actually gonna decrease, the more we get closer to autonomous driving, your pays will actually, in my opinion, start increasing more and more. The 9% that said that I think I will have a problem so let's try and see if we can figure this out together. Let's say they do come up with driverless trucks. The only way I see that being possible is if they have two terminals along the interstate highways that would probably be around 300 to 500 miles apart, where a driverless truck comes off the ramp and into a terminal. No local driving is needed, no city works, just along the interstate highways. This I do see happening, but not anytime soon. Now the average time it takes to build a terminal, I say best case scenario is between two to three years. Trust me, I'm in the process right now with ET Transport building two terminals, one of them in Moncton, New Brunswick and a second one in Brampton, Ontario. And I can tell you that from the time you even draft the paperwork until the time you actually see the building up there, it would easily take between two to three years to build a terminal. Now imagine this whole infrastructure of self-driving trucks. It's not happening anytime soon. I would say not in the foreseeable, I would say 10 years. Now let's say that in some miraculous way, they do end up opening multiple terminals along the interstate highways. I still see the need for long haul drivers. So my job will not get affected, 19%. I think this means tanker drivers, flatbed drivers, local drivers, household movers, cross-border drivers. I don't see in any way, shape or form that driverless trucks are going to affect you truck drivers out there. So people in these industries have absolutely nothing to worry about. And for those 65% of you out there that chose driverless trucks will not happen anytime soon, I agree with you 100% and I think you are correct. Driverless trucks will not happen anytime soon. They can test it all they want, but I wish they put more focus on electric trucks versus driverless trucks. The world and our industry really needs to steer away from diesel engines. The cost of diesel is through the roof. 
So this is why I say don't fear the future of self-driving trucks. We still have a long way to go and I don't believe any of us are in jeopardy. If there is anything I missed in this video or a topic that I did not talk about, leave a comment down below and let's get a conversation started. Thanks for tuning in and don't forget that this channel is all about trucking. And make sure you're a subscriber, hit that bell notification so the next time we take out a video, you'll get notified. I'm Ronan, R-O-N-E-N, and I'll catch you in my next video.